Hey guys, Maliha here from the Site Blogger, and today I want to show you a new thing that I just noticed on Canva. So there's this thing if you log into Canva, you may see Droptober is here. So basically, latest launches um, in October, I'm guessing. Um, but when I clicked on it, it showed me a bunch of new things, and you can go through them one by one on your Canva account. But when I scrolled down, I saw this, the Disney collection. And so that's kind of cool. I thought I would test this out. So let's try it out. And just so you know, I have not tried this out before. So this is my first try, uh, first try with this. So I'm not sure what to expect. So let's look at it. Try Disney. And I'm not sure if you have noticed it on your end or if it's just me, but Canva has been pretty slow for me for the last few days. And um, yes, yeah, so it's been a little frustrating because I can't tell whether it's me or just Canva in general, what's going on. But yeah, I noticed that uh, for certain apps like Canva just gets stuck and nothing happens. Um, I have to like restart the whole thing and um, yeah it's been kind of frustrating so not sure maybe it's just me I don't know but okay so we are here in Disney and basically it's a lot of Disney related content um, it looks like it's just a page like almost like a Disney uh, page and if you're on a Canva Pro account, it looks like you need to be on Canva Pro account, and then you should be able to use these templates. It almost looks like these are just ready-made templates. So anyway, let me play around with this thing. I have no idea what this is. So it looks like a poster, and then customize this template. All right, so this is basically a template. How can you use Disney Collection? So basically a pop-up opened up and it's telling me that, welcome to the world of Disney in Canva. Here's how it's licensed. Okay, so some licensing restrictions. Use these templates for personal and educational purposes. Templates can be printed using Canva print if available in your region. You can't use these templates for commercial purposes. So if you're making templates for sales or something, uh, don't use these. You can only use the content provided in the template, not outside elements. No outside elements. Okay, so very um, specific use cases only as is don't use outside elements or anything got it I honestly don't know how useful these will be you know without um, being able to use outside elements or whatever um, I'm not entirely sure what it means when it says outside elements but so am I not allowed to um, use these elements on something else or not sure. Anyway, what is this for? Like, I have no idea if I can't use outside elements, like it looks like I can edit them. Um, this template is a part of special collection. This means you can only use the content provided for your full library. Browse Canva elements. Okay. So yeah, it looks like I can't add anything um, to it. It's just you have to use it as is. And you can change the text if you want to. Um, but that's pretty much it. So yeah, if you need Disney themed stuff for your educational purposes, if you're an educator, a teacher or something and you want to do something with these templates um, you can do that you can um, use them I'm assuming if you have like 
kids, anyone to create fun stuff, kid related, kid themed stuff for your own kids or something like that. I'm assuming that's when these are useful, but yeah, no commercial use, no external elements use. You can add any other element to it. Um, you just have to play around with whatever is given to you. So basically if I go back and I look at all of these Disney themed templates or designs, basically, um, all you can do, it looks like, is just open one of these designs, customize the positioning, I'm assuming. Um, so you can change these positioning if you want. You can change these texts. Like so. But yeah, you can't add anything of your um, your own template or even Canva, uh, Canva elements. Um, yeah. It's kind of nice that they're giving you some additional elements to work with. So even if you cannot use the elements tab um, in the Canva library to add elements that you want, you can use elements that are provided in the second page. So if I want to add, for example, this purple leaves, I can copy it and I can drop it here, paste it here. So I can play around with the elements that are given, but nothing else, basically. So yeah. Looks like that's what this is. Maybe drop an Olaf, like so. It is called Olaf, isn't, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not too familiar with Disney stuff. I've never been a fan, but I think it was called Olaf or something. I don't know, man, whatever. But yeah, it's just there, uh, a new Disney collection. Uh, basically, what it means is that you can uh, use some of these templates to make fun stuff for yourself, for your kids, for your classroom, if you're an educator, um, a teacher, or some something like that. Um, but no commercial use, and you are only restricted to um, use the templates and the elements within these designs. You cannot use any other element, whether it's your own or even elements that are available uh, within Canva. You can't use anything else. So extremely limited use, but hey, it's there if you want to like print out a gigantic um, poster, <laughs> Disney themed poster for your kids or their friends or you know, things like that for gifts, you know, if you have nephews and nieces and whatnot, you can play around with that, but that's pretty much it. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, introduce you to this and that's it. All right. Not very useful, but whatever. See you in a different video. Bye.